In this episode, I'll be showing you some of my camping equipment that I take with me on my motorcycle. How's it? Yeah, my name is Conrad, SA Guide, and uh, yeah, today I just want to show you a little bit of what I'm going to take with me when I'm going to go camping. I booked a campsite in the Waterberg district uh, for this weekend. And some people have also been asking me what I take with me on the camping trips. So today I just want to show you a little bit my uh, Enduristan uh, pannier bags and then also just some of the basic things that I would take on just about every camping trip. Okay, here. so firstly I would like to show you my uh, Enduristan uh, pannier bags. Uh, they are very very light. Uh, together they weigh about uh, 4 kilograms. They each can take about 30 liters and they are completely 100% uh, water, dust and mud proof. So they are very uh, handy and they are easy to fix to uh, just about any motorcycle with uh, pannier racks on them. So you can see they are very big inside, you can pack a lot of things inside. But uh, they also have with the uh, roll top method that uh, keeps all water and dust or mud out. And yeah, with all the loops here, you can always strap some things uh, to it. I actually also have a, one of these uh, locks which I uh, can use to lock them to the pannier racks itself. So I put it all around the bag and then I uh, lock the whole bag to the penny rack as well. Then they're also closed as just when you're stopping at some shops, then uh, you can uh, yeah, feel a little bit more secure that somebody can't just quickly open the bags. Then I also have here my uh, tank bag, which I uh, strap to the front of the, the bike. Here I can keep my uh, first aid kit inside, I can keep a bit of water, I keep some of my camera things, extra batteries and then I can also use this front part where I can put my phone inside and then I can use it as a GPS holder which is also very useful. Then my uh, tent here, I got a very cheap and uh, light tent from uh, one of the major department stores you can see the whole tent only weighs about one and a half kilograms. The tent's very small, but uh, I must say this tent is very reliable and just big enough for myself. And I can keep a few of my gear inside the tent. I'm standing here on the tarp as well, which I usually also take with me. This tarp is about uh, three by three meters long, which is very useful to use in the campsite. You can either put things on top of the tarp or you can uh, use it as a shelter and uh, uh, yeah, just uh, hook the tarp up to some different branches or to different bikes to sit underneath it. Sometimes I also just uh, use a strap and then I hang the tarp over my tent to have some extra rain protection. Yeah, and this one is my little camping chair. It's also from that uh, major retail store. But it's a go anywhere camping chair. It weighs 1.8 kilograms and can take up to 100 kilograms. But uh, this one also just fit right into my budget. I just want to show you a little bit how easy this is to set up. So all the poles are connected with uh, strings, so it's not easy to lose them. So just put them all together. Put each one in its direction, and then this uh, we just hang over it. This one over on this side. There we go. That's it. That's my old uh, camping chair, and uh, actually it sits very comfortable. If I can tell you honestly, there's nothing wrong with the chair. It's a little bit low, but got nice uh, back support. Then I have here a uh, very nice uh, small camping mattress. It's one of those uh, self-inflating mattresses. It's uh, very comfortable. I know you do get smaller ones than this, but this one is actually just within my budget and it uh, folds up very small 
and I sleep very comfortable on it. Then I always have a sleeping bag with me, depending on if it's uh, winter or summer. I uh, know you also do get much smaller sleeping bags, but I haven't invested in one yet. So I will try to look for a winter sleeping bag, which is a bit smaller than this. Otherwise, I always sometimes just take a sheet with me, just like a duvet cover. This is also very nice in summer, you can just climb inside and uh, sleep inside this duvet cover when it's very hot. And then standard in the summer, I always take a, a raincoat with me, pants and a high visual uh, jacket. This I can also just put in a bag and strap it to one of the pannier racks on the motorcycle. So uh, I also like to use these uh, cooler bags they are very useful either to keep things cold. Last time we filled it up with uh, ice and kept the whole uh, six pack of beer cold in here. Otherwise I uh, keep all my uh, kitchen things in here like my coffee maker and also the little uh, methylated spirits uh, stove that I use. I put all my plates and pan in here you can see I do try and go as minimal as possible, try not to take too many things with me. I have here one of those uh, silicone brine mats which you can put straight on the grill, rather not on the flames, otherwise this will happen. But this thing is still very useful, I can uh, fry some bacon or eggs on top of this on a, on a low heat uh, grill. Cooler bags are also very useful to uh, keep my uh, camera equipment inside. I'll show you this one. This is where I can keep my camera equipment inside because it's also padded and when I don't use it for food then it just keeps my uh, cameras uh, a little bit safer. And of course I always have some of these straps with me that I can tie things to the bike or I can use to strap my tarp or my tent to, uh, to something. I have a cargo net as well which you can strap things to your bike to. And then I always have my fold up grid for the fire. This one is very nice because you can pull out the handles and then you have a normal size grid. This I always use, you can either put it on top of some bricks or on top of the grid this is already in the campsite. Those uh, grids are normally not very clean and then I can use my own grid that I know is uh, always clean. Yeah, so then I have my top box here as well that also goes on the back of the bike. And this is uh, just the perfect size to keep one of these cooler boxes and keep all my camera equipment safe. So yeah, that's a little bit uh, all my camping gear that I take with me. Yes, so this is my uh, trusty Dakar motorbike. This is what I normally ride with going on all my trips. I've had it for about uh, three years now and I've done around uh, 44,000 kilometers on it. I've been last year to Stillby from here and then I've also been once to Swaziland and a few times down to the Lowveld and uh, many times to uh, Artis. I do like to ride it quite a lot. Yeah, this bike is pretty cool. Totally on-road and off-road capable. Actually also did a few uh, modifications on it. The crash bars and uh, pannier racks wasn't on it when I got it. I also put a larger, taller screen on it. And I've painted the uh, uh, the front fender and also I put some fork socks on here to keep the forks a little bit clean from dust. Yeah, so this is my bike. Yeah, so the idea is uh, to always try and travel with as little as possible. Be as minimalist as possible. It's mostly about the ride. Once you get to the campsite, uh, you will have your basic camping things and most campsites have uh, all the basic necessities already there. So uh, whatever you've left at home is probably supposed to have been left at home. 
try and travel with as little as possible. Don't uh, overload your bike and uh, make it difficult when you get to uh, uh, troublesome uh, roads where you don't uh, really know how to handle your bike with a heavy load. So uh, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope it also gives you some uh, ideas. And uh, yeah, leave me a like in the and uh, leave me some comments if uh, you have some other things that you like to take with you on the bike or if you can uh, yeah, get away with uh, not taking some things with you.